sometimes you uh, come across a poet that uh, kills you softly with their song, as Lauren and Flack would say, and uh, then you just decide either you can't really ever beat them in a slam, so you just decide to be on the team with them. And uh, that's what we've been doing for the past nine years. <laughs> so we're so, like, why would I try to keep competing against this guy? I should just join him. So um, you can see why. So this is uh, a newer ish poem, because it's on my fancy new iPad. Uh, mini. And, uh, <laughs> you know, not air mini, though. I'm not that cool. I'm just like sort of cool. But uh, and it's called Dearly Beloved. I actually wrote it after a, a performance by a a French group that I keep shouting out. Uh, you could find their work on, on online. Um, they're uh, La, La Macadams is their name. Uh, like, like think of macadamia nuts, but macadams. And uh, they, they do this thing called Without Words, which is interesting for a poet who's like all words all the time. And so this was written after their performance in Albuquerque. It's called Dearly Beloved. Dearly Beloved, we are gathered here today because being gathered together anywhere else would be impossible. Because there are trees falling in forests that don't exist and they are screaming paper mache instead of bloody murder all the way down to the sounds you didn't make when I said speak now or forever hold your seat. Remain standing, please. We have a couple of unbroken vows that might just make it to tomorrow. If you don't breathe or give up, repeat after me. I won't give up. Now say it to each other every morning until you stop meaning it. It's better than morning wood and bubble gum. But when you stop meaning it, give up. Some will call it surrender. Some will call it victory. But the addicts will know and call it both. Dearly beloved, these are the only rings not meant for boxing gloves, so take them off. The rules of engagement are a rear view memory and an entire military couldn't teach you how to withdraw. This is a wedding, not a war. You should never have to backpedal from your own bed or grope behind yourself for walls. You should be able to turn around and fall. No exit wound. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness, minus the crime, minus the court 30 years from now, plus the divorce 14 years before. Even Toni Morrison couldn't rewrite this story. When it's so stormy, Walter Raleigh couldn't even write this relationship. Dear John Abbey Road and Paul McCartney, we are gathered here for a reception of your greatest hits because exchanging love letters before bed and slow dancing every morning is the secret to this shit. Dearly beloved, you are gathered here today so you can sleep together, having found someone whose dreams are not your nightmares and verse of vice, an epiphany of each other for the rest of your life. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to gather your belongings, because where you and your soulmate are going, you won't need them. Woo!